Matt Stepp with Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Back here at the Texas High School Coaches Association and Convention. Here with the new head coach of the Canyon Cougars there in New Braunfels, Coach Travis Bush. Uh, coach, first off, congratulations on the new gig, and uh, welcome to coaching school. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. You know, coaching school uh, back in person for the uh, first time since 2019. Uh, obviously, a lot of excitement in the air for you. What, what, what's important about coaching school? Why is it important to be involved in THSCA? And what do you look forward to most when you come to coaching school? Well, you know, the biggest thing is obviously supporting the organization uh, that, that takes care of us. But always a great time to, to see other coaches from around the state. You don't get a chance to see, uh, sit down, grab people, pick their brain on a couple of things, and, and really get to listen to a lot of good speakers. And, and, you know, you always pick up a few things to learn here. But the biggest thing is, is connections and, and getting your young coaches involved with making connections in the, with coaches around the state. Now you're, you're the son of a coach. Your dad was, was a, is a longtime uh, coach across here in the state of Texas. Um, for you, did you did, were you were, were, being a coach's kid? Were you a guy who, who who went to coaching school with your dad a lot? Did, were, you, were you were you around the the coaching school game even as, as a youngster? Yeah, oh yeah, I think that was like our family vacations. We'd uh, we'd all come <laughs> up here. That was our, our big deal. But yeah, I've been I grew up coming to coaching school, and and so it's 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 great memory, especially when I see uh, other other little little sons following their dad around. And I used to remember those days. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's, it's you, you, coaching is kind of one of those things where, where you start to run into. You run into run into coaches who you coached them back yeah. in the day. That you know they, they were kids that you coached, and 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 you see coaches' kids out here, and you're like, there's a bunch of future coaches running running around here playing. Uh, it's it's really a you know people don't realize how much of a family event coaching school really can be because the coaches' wives are here. There's a lot of activities for the wives as well, right? Yeah, and great you know to have it in a place like here, like San Antonio. It's so family friendly, and uh, and I think that's what you see. You're seeing a lot more families come nowadays, which is which is great. And it's nice for you because you're just right down the road. You don't have to, you don't have to <laughs> too go, go too far, right? <laughs> not not too far for you. Uh, when when you look at, at the the canyon job, obviously uh, you know they had a lot of success last year. You know, Coach Lepsis did a good job there. They had they had a great year, and mm -hmm. you, you played against those guys. So you were very familiar with them. Um, when you come in and take over, you know, a lot of times co new coaches come into programs, and they, and those programs haven't been successful. So you're really having to change a lot of things. How do you, as a new head coach there at Canyon? You know, if you know the old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That kind of thing. How do you kind of manage what has been done well, but also putting your own spin and your own your own kind of you know secret sauce on things to keep the success going? Well, that's the first thing. You know, you got you come in and evaluate, and uh, again, we, it was uh, they they did a great job. Have have a lot of great kids, good kids coming back, and and uh, it's the fastest growing school district in the nation right now. I mean, it's 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 getting big. Um, the dynamics are good. Uh, athletic director and and uh, and soup and, and principal the, that that core they will work with but you know look at looking at the team you, you just come in and evaluate and uh you know we we uh we're going to do some things different but there's a lot of things they do well so it's just uh you know everything we do offensively and defensively is built to tailor fit to our personnel uh they they have different personnel than we've had uh at, at, at our last place so uh we're gonna look a little different but again we're gonna we're gonna tailor fit it and, and do what they do well how important is especially in a multi-school isd to have that strong support from your athletic administration and your campus administration oh it's i mean that's it's totally key and, and for being in this and obviously being uh, a son of a, an AD head coach, you know, he, I've learned a lot from him and, and know a lot of things, and, and that was a, a, a key piece. Um, you know, those are the people you deal with on a daily basis, so that, that's the core you want uh, as, a, as an athletic director or head coach is, is th that core to, be, uh, to have your back and be on your side. When, when you look at your uh, your ball club in 2021 in, in, in the district, you're obviously familiar with the district and a lot, a lot of good football played mm -hmm. in District 13. Uh, 12, 12, 12, 5A Division One. When you look at that district and the, and the type of teams, what, what kind of challenges does, does the, the district present to you guys? Well, it, it's going to be a good district. Um, going to be solid again as well as, as last year. Now we up the up their non-district schedule. We're at, we added uh, two 6A, so we got three 6A teams to start out. Um, but but it's 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 one of those deal where you you look at your schedule and uh, you could see yourself competing and, and winning most of the games. You can see yourself being about. Two and eight or three and seven. Because things don't yeah, go right, you don't play well, it's, right? It's a tough schedule. And, and looking at our schedule early, you know, we we got uh, you know East Central, Clark, New Braunfels, Drip, and Seguin. We open district with Drip and Seguin. We can have a good football team and be zero and five, and that's yeah. that's legitimately. I mean, we could still be a good team, but we play five good teams right off the bat. That that excites you, but I guess scares you at the <laughs> same time, right? <laughs> well, and you, and you know, starting out, you know, with obviously with success, and now you know uh, a, a new co, you want to have success early. But uh, you know that, that's a realization. We've got to. We've got to. We've been working hard, and we know what's in front of us. 
so we've got to prepare and be ready to go early. How big for you as being a first-year head coach has it been to have a more normal offseason, no, more normal summer strength and conditioning? How, how key has that been? How much is that going to help you when the fall comes? Well, uh, especially the, 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 you know, the extra hour, the stuff UIL gave us has really helped us, you know, being able to, to catch up and, and get the extra work in with these guys. Um, but, you know, that we, we've used it all. We need it all, you know, and it's, it's not a deal, like I said, looking at our schedule. We can't, we can't get in the season and, and gradually get going. We've got to be ready to go off the bat. Got to hit the ground running, right? No doubt. What, what, needs, to go, what, you know, what needs to go right for the, for the Canyon Cougars in 2021 for you guys to have the kind of success that you're hoping you, your guys are capable of? Well, the biggest thing, too, coming in with a new – got to get the right guys in the right position quick. Uh, and we got to find out, um, you know, we, we feel good about a lot of positions. There's still some positions that we got question marks. And a lot of that, the, we're not going to get answered until we get in pads or we get in live situations. So, um, you know, we just got to, uh, you know, we got, we got to be able to, to line up and compete and, and make sure we're, we're fundamentally sound early. Final question for you. This is a fun one. Uh, you got, you, you, being a coach's kid, you moved around a lot. You've, you've eaten at a lot of restaurants in the state of Texas, been to a lot of places. When we're talking Mexican food, Oof. what is – what, what, if you go to a Mexican restaurant, they say, Coach Bush, you can only get one thing, fajitas, you can get enchiladas, you can get tacos, you can get nachos, whatever you want. What, what, what's the, what, do you, what, what are you ordering? Only one plate. Yep. One plate. I think you got to go with fajita nachos. you got everything in there. You Beef or chicken? Mix. My man. That's, that's, that's a, that, <laughs> Coach Bush is playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. There you go. There you go. Coach, appreciate, hey, your, appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations all the success, and good luck in 2021, and we appreciate what you do for student athletes here in Texas. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.